What is proactive feedback loop training? My name is Jamie Club. If you enjoy the content of this video, please like, leave a comment, letting me know what you think, and subscribe. Proactive feedback loop training was a method I devised in my lessons to promote a closer relationship between pad work and live fight training. In essence, the coach and the fighter work together to create an environment that replicates a sparring environment or a pressure testing environment by use of focus mitts. Beginning on a very basic level, coach and fighter work together uh, with various footwork movements. The coach leads and the fighter follows. Add in focus mitts. You begin with a round of flash pad drill training uh, that will be followed by a round of defense only training. This is where the coach only delivers uh, the attacks to the fighter, deflects, slips, rolls, uses evasive footwork, closes in, learns how to fight defensively in an aggressive way. So they get to isolate their defensive methods and their defensive techniques and strategies. The third round brings both together. So now you create a training situation where the person striking sees a target, but knows that as soon as they go to strike the target, the coach is also going to strike them, uh, that they're going to be leaving a vulnerability um, in their defense when they strike. So it teaches them to have a tighter defense and it also teaches the coach to be looking um, for openings for vulnerabilities whilst they're holding the pads. Obviously, both of them have uh, done the uh, mirror footwork drill where they've been shadowing each other's footwork so that gets incorporated as well so you get um, a close to sparring environment um, also can be adapted for self-defense to have a, a more self-defense based environment although that tends to be a different uh, dynamic on the pads the next stage is to spar it's usually two training partners um, get off the pads and get into a sparring and what should have happened is the work they've, they've done on the focus mitts should then translate into the sparring, should have some influence over the sparring. The magic part is being able to take that sparring experience immediately back onto the focus mitts. So the next round won't be sparring, the next round will be focus mitt work again. And you go back through the whole process, uh, flash pad drill training, defense only training, and combine together the actual proactive uh, pad work training. So you then create this feedback loop where the training influences the actual fighting and then the fighting influences the pad work. Please like, leave a comment letting me know what you think and subscribe.